Hey, hello my dear YouTube friends and welcome to yet another beautiful Friday here in Denmark. Um, we are outside today, we're outside in our garden, so you might hear the birds, you might hear my husband in the background, you hear our neighbors, you hear our neighbors' dogs, you might hear our cats. So um, that is the life of outside life, you know? So we have an unboxing today and this is a Lazy River Diamond Painting unboxing. If you remember last Friday I did a sneak peek from the same company and I did also buy this beautiful, beautiful artwork. It is a an old master's, I hope you can see it. It is called Idleness and it is by John William Goodward, I think. I just forgot his name. I will put it in John William Goodwood, I think. And um, she's beautiful. But um, yeah, let's take a look at the box. You can see there are some pretty purple, fla purple flowers and some pink flowers. And yeah, it's the box is pink, my favorite color. I think we'll go in. The box came a little crunched, as you can see. But um, if it is like last week's diamond painting, everything in here will be just fine. There you have it all. Just going to put the box over here. So yeah, everything we need is in here. I just need to... I'm going to pause you a second while I'm opening this one. Okay, I found the tape and everything, so let's get into it. Put all the plastic over here for later. And let's see. Oh, we're gonna unroll this. Oh, she's beautiful. Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I knew I was going to love her, but wow. Okay. Yeah, John William Good, good word. Can you see her? I mean, is the sun <laughs> so much here? I don't know. But she is beautiful. I might need to. So stop you right here and take a look how the video is and then go come back. Hold on a second. Okay, so I decided to to move us around a little because the other way around you couldn't really see her at all. But look at her. Oh, she's beautiful. And um can you can you see her little friend down here? And do you know why I had to have her? Look at that, it's a little red ginger baby. It looks just like my Pelle or our Pelle. But and she has a little a little toy over here. Look at that beautiful, beautiful yellow dress dress. Sorry, I can't speak today. And she sits in I think it's an, a couch and you can maybe see some water in the background. I have the beautiful flowers up here. Yeah, she is, she is beautiful. Um, I mean, I say this about all my diamond paintings, and I mean, I don't buy diamond paintings that I don't intend to do, but I, I can't wait to do this diamond painting, especially because we have a little kitty cat down here. But let's take a look at the canvas, shall we? So this background, it is sturdy and it is oil cloth. You have, it is poked and scalloped so that you don't have issues with fraying at all. Over here, you have the title and the artist, John William Goodworth. And um, because this is an old master's, you don't need licensing. This is, this is free to use. On either side of this canvas, you have a legend which is big, and I love that. I mean, a lot of other legends are teeny tiny and you can hardly see them. So I love these big, big legends. 
up here on the left you have the social for lazy river diamond painting you have the instagram and the website here in the middle you have the lazy river diamond painting and the little mermaid and you have two pieces of plastic and here it is, it is port glue diamond painting so that means if you have issues with the with the canvas rolling you can just roll it backwards and um let's see is this sticky just as good as last week oh yeah very sticky that is the canvas what do you guys think i i love her i love her i love her she's beautiful but you know i want to take a look at all the other goodies that came with this so because because this came directly from the company the the um well there's a river diamond painting by the diamond paintings from that means that this diamond painting hasn't been around Matt and Stephanie, where you usually get a cover minder and stuff like that. So Stephanie and Matt contacted the the factory that makes the diamond painting and asked them to to add in some little extras, some stickers and stuff. And I, I was presently surprised last week when I saw what stickers it was because it is diamond painting stickers just little mermaids so look at those pretty pretty cute mermaids with some friends it's the same as last week so i might give away one of them but yeah they are they are cute and you have this little is that even a sticker as well yeah this is a sticker as well where you can see all the little mermaids you have a very, very basic toolkit. You have a green boat, some wax, and a pink pan. You know, it's everything you need. And here you have a guide how to diamond paint. And then you have the drills. If you want to see the drills, please go check out my, my sneak peek from last week. I show you the drills with these little stickers. Just gonna put them back in the box real, uh, in the back here so they don't run off. Since we're outside, there's a little wind today. So here you have the toolkit for the diamond painting. And it is you have a, a glittery diamond pen with a single placer. You have a a white master boat tray. And you have some basic tweezers. They're nice and warm because they've been laying in the sun. Then you have, come on. Then you have two plastic multi-placers. These are the thick ones. Most diamond painters prefer the thin ones, but these works just as fine. And then you have this this wax and it, it is actually a nice wax since you can't see through it which is i'm happy about that i use the wax for ab drills so um yeah and here we have them oh dear oh <laughs> all the drills look at that big bag of it's a light mint color i think do we have any ab's in this one nope no ABs in this kit, which is fine, you know, you don't need ABs in every diamond painting. And I think because this is an old master, Stephanie decided that, you know, Stephanie and Matt decided that, you know, it doesn't need a lot of bling because you didn't have that in the original paintings. Here you have a schematic, a legend. Where you have all the colors in this, you have 46 colors. And I bump you again, sorry. So you have 46 colors and all 
the symbols and numbers and you have the, here the code, this is the symbols, then you have the DMC here and over here you have the amount of drills of each color. I actually really like that. I love knowing how many, you know, how many drills in each color I have. Oh, look at that. 3756 has 16,129 drills. Wow, that is a lot. <laughs> So, yeah, let's put this here. Let's take a look at all these amazing, beautiful colors. A look at this aubergine, 150, 154, 155. I love these pebbles. 161, 169, 318. 415, that's a light gray, and we have 420, I like these browns as well, oh look at this, this is a mindy green, 524, it's not really mindy, it's more like a dusty mindy green, one of my favorites, 550, beautiful purple, then we have 612, 640 and 648 look at this they will make amazing amazing shading here in this diamond painting then we have 729 680 758 we have 754 775 3872, 794, 645, 801, <laughs> 818, 815. Ooh, look at that. That is a wine red. Beautiful. 819, that is a big bag of light pink and a straggler blue. Now we have 823, 834, 926, this is a dusty grayish blue. Now we have 842, beautiful. I love all these colors. Then we have 939, just very, very, very dark blue. And there isn't really a lot of them. Oh, by the way, do we even have a 310 in this one? No, there's no 310. 975, 3033, 915, 3022. Beautiful, beautiful, dusty green. I love all these dusty colors. 3078, 3855, 3862, 3046. All these yellows goes in her dress, I think. 3045, well, I don't think I know. <laughs> 3072. 3752, 3782, ooh, beautiful, 3834, 3835, 3836, look at all these, beautiful, beautiful purple colors, lilac colors, and the There we have it, the 6,000-something, 3856. That is a big bag. We do have a slight, a little bit of, of static, but it isn't really bad. I mean, 
I think this is the only one that I've seen static in, which is, you know, a lot of times you can't really prevent static, and it is quite easy to get rid of. Use some dryer sheet, or use some, some alcohol, put it on a Q-tip, and just put it in the, in the bag. So yeah. Oh, and um, this sheet here, they aren't a sticker sheet, but what you can do if you want some stickers to put on your, on your bags or on your containers, you can cut out these, these symbols and put them through a sticker maker. I have a siren sticker maker, so I'll just run these through that and I have stickers. So that is what you can do if you don't have, you know, if you want stickers to put on. But yeah, let's, let's put all these back in here and take a look at the canvas again. Because really, that's what we're here for, isn't it? We really, we are here to look at the canvas. Isn't she beautiful? I mean, a lot of the purple and reddish color will go here in that... Is it a, a sash or a scarf or something? Anyway, she's beautiful. And then we also have some, you know, I think it's some shading, purple shading on the couch. And we have some red down here in her shoe. And on the cat, because it is a, a ginger cat. We also have some of the purples up there in the flowers. Oh my god, that yellow, yellow, beautiful dress. Can you wear yellow? I can't. I look so sick if I wear yellow. I mean, I have, I don't have it so you, I can show it to you. But back when I was in high school, we were to, you know, we have pictures taken every year. And my mom had bought this hideous sun yellow sweater for me to wear. And even though it was summer and I was nice and brown, I looked so sick. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyway, I think we all, either you can wear yellow or you can't. So yeah. Oh, I totally forgot the size of this. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, everybody. So this is 60 by 85 and it is a square drill canvas. I totally forgot to tell you all this earlier. I just wanted to take a look at the canvas. There you have a thumbnail. Isn't he beautiful? So yeah, square drills, I guess you saw that when I showed them to you, and 60 by 85. And I hope you can see how clear this drill field is. I know that my phone sometimes isn't the best for this, but I will take a picture and put it in here so that you can see this, that clear, clear drill field. I mean, you won't even need... A light pad for this. I mean, I can do this without a light pad. I wonder if the sun comes out and everything is beautiful that I could sit out here diamond painting. I have seen other people sit outside. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm so scared of wasps and bees, so I don't know if it's a good idea. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing from Lazy River Diamond Painting. The canvas is called Idleness and the artist is John William Goodward. It is an old master so you know you can purchase it and you can use this for some of the masters or you can just do it anytime you want. I mean yeah. So please let me know down in the comment field how you like this diamond painting. Do you want to buy it? Did you maybe buy it earlier as a custom? And, you know, how do you compare yours with this one? I don't know. And um, if you're new to my channel, hi, I hope you liked this unboxing. And if you did, please consider subscribing right down there. Next to the subscribe button, there's a bell, ding that, choose all, and you'll be notified whenever I put up a new video. I would also really appreciate it if all of you would give me a thumbs up before you leave this video. And yeah, as I said, I would love for you to write some comment down below. Other than that, I have nothing left to say, but bye everybody. See you in my next video. Bye. I love you.